coach of the women's soccer team, Simon Rioff, after today's 3-1 win over the Fordham Rams. Coach, just your overall thoughts on the game. Ashley Wilson with her debut and that getting some time in. I know it was just limited action, but what did you see from her? Well, uh, the first play she was pretty nervous and it was like, a, you know, ooh, scary type stuff. Uh, but then she settled down, she made a couple of big saves. She had nothing to do, she couldn't be at fault for the goal. Uh, but a good 15 minutes and uh, hopefully we can build on that going through the week. Leah Galton with another point today, just two points away from tied for first with the all-time program record. Is that kind of a factor going forward? Is it kind of getting a little more anticipation of the fact that she might become the new leader? Uh, I don't think it's a question of might. Uh, she will be. Uh, she's just a special player. She's going through a little rut at the moment. Uh, teams are kicking, kicking everywhere and she's struggling with it. Uh, but she's, she's going to come good again. Conference starts next week. That's when it becomes more exciting. I'm sure she'll start banging goals in again. So we're excited for her. Leah. She's got two, she had a couple of quiet games, but now she'll be ready to play. What were your thoughts on that play in the second half where she went down as Fordham defender was around her? Yeah, I don't know what happened. Uh, I thought the referee didn't control the game as well as it could have. I thought for that 60th minute to 70th minute, I think Fordham got frustrated, which is understandable. And they were bullying us a little bit, and that's when the referee has to kind of slow it down. So he allowed a lot of this going on. When that happens, a girl like Liz has to protect herself, and uh, it's frustrating that she, she has lowered herself to that level. But she's going to, you know, she gets isolated all the time, and teams are going to pick on her, and they're going to kick her, and she, she's got to cope with it. Um, it's always a process. I'm sure she'll understand that. Five days to prepare for the first conference game against William and Mary. Number 23 in the country, what do you need to do to make sure that you're 100% going into that road match? Well, it starts with right now we've got to recover, uh, watch some game film, uh, prepare the team from Tuesday onwards, and also get a good, good trip down there, a nice night's sleep. And